perforation panel as seen right up here and you can already tell there's it's a new little category thing here custom weapons you can see these are all my custom weapons I have tested uh, with so far yes like each weapon has their own option but we'll get more onto that in a bit but there's some things I need to uh, address and stuff before we start regarding to add-on weapons like uh, what I have right now this is the uh, Entropy 02 post pistol uh, the weapon creator panel does not you can register add-on weapons that is still impossible the reason it's like not possible is because every weapon is different and so there's a lot of problems coming out of that so don't expect that to be a thing but this doesn't mean you can't replicate the weapons like let me uh look around here the post pistol i have replicated about the same i'm dead They can't do the off fire. Also, don't mind the errors. For some reason, this pistol likes to error. Anywho, you can recreate the weapons, but you can't import them. So, all your, like, fancy, I don't know, like, say, you want this portal gun, be the uh, portal gun. Well, that's. There's not much you can do about that, so don't get your hopes up that you can add add-on weapons. It's entirely onto you to manually create each weapon. So I suppose before we do any of that, we'll just show around these uh, weapons. And there's quite a few of them. We got another basic weapon from Entropy. Cool weapon. Heavy's minigun. Exactly how it's done. Uh, the Jolteon. This is a powered weapon. Watch. They missed. Yep, there you go. It, it's essentially just a really overpowered shotgun. Oh, you died. Okay. So this this is basically a showcase on overpowered ranged weapons. And next is the weaponized tool gun, which is in the name. It's a weapon. Why are you all trying to kill me? Kill each other. Ow. Okay, that's it. I'm disabling thing. Or the uh, ignore. Turning on ignore players. You can see it's also showing up in the kill feed with their names as well. It's always fun to see. And then here's a test on a very overpowered melee weapon. <laughs> Don't skip that. Watch this. <laughs> this was some uh, community members' ideas, and well, I took it at heart so tf2 uh spies revolver just as you'd expect to be it's the revolver uh 
We already looked at the pulse pistol. Here's the power line pole. Now watch this. You see the screen is shaking. Every time they use it. Just because of the sheer size. But there's a reason why the screen shakes every time they hit someone. I'll show you about that in a second. And here's a joke. What briefcase? <laughs> Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. And then here's a combined gas cannon. This one also shakes the screen. It's not supposed to shoot out uh, shells. All right, I'll fix that in a bit. Those were the weapons. And again, you can like allow like each of your own custom weapons like this. So let's go in the panel right here. This is what it looks like. All my saved weapons. You can create a new ranged weapon, which it looks like this. It may look intimidating at first, but trust me, it's relatively simple. We'll make a custom one in a bit, but you can see this little preview here. But let's go to one of the weapons. Let's go to the pulse pistol. Don't mind the error again. For some reason, the add-on runs code on the model. I guess. I don't know why. It's nothing related to this panel. Anyways, you can see weapon class name. Which it's, uh... It has to be unique, because, well... That's just its class name. I don't know how else to explain to it. Usually, they're all, uh in uh, capitals like this and then there's the pretty print which is the name that shows up in the kill feed which we saw and the uh, equipment uh, options the am how much ammo can the gun shoot before it needs a reload the animation you can see it's 357 we can change it to AR2 camera Gonna put it back keep distance is the distance they will shoot from fire rate minimum the minimum time they can shoot it, and the maximum amount of time they can shoot it. You just set them both at the same value if you just want a constant fire rate. Otherwise, we got recoil animation, which is the animation they play when they shoot. You can see there's a grenade in here. This is for uh, the callbacks, which is down here. Talk more about that in a second. The muzzle, muzzle flash. Tracer, we got quite a few here. The shell effects, which let's show it. Here's the shell eject editor. You can toggle if shells should eject or not. You can change the type. Shell eject is just those uh, nine millimeter shells, rifle type shells, and shotgun shells. You can see right here. There's a white sphere and a red line where the red line is pointing that's where the shells will fly out towards we can like change it to like point that way and shoot a bit upwards like that but we're supposed to keep this off I don't know I, I think I forgot to turn it off or something this was made uh, earlier so I guess things changed uh, the reload editor you can change the reload animation, the time it takes to finish reloading, and you can add sounds to it. Let's we can preview it as well like this. It will play all the sounds and the reload animation. Here we have the uh, new. We can add a new re uh, reload sound. We can open the sound browser here find a sound, we can just go down here or something. Pulse pistol. We'll add a sound like this, and we can add a delay to it. This will be, uh, this sound will play after like one second. We'll do a 0 0.6, and then we'll submit it, and there it is. We can preview it. You could hear it a bit there, but you get the idea. We're going to right-click it to remove it, because we don't need that. 
the minimum amount of damage you can deal and the maximum amount of damage you can deal. Simple. The damage force, the bullet spread. Now, how do I explain this? You see, the maximum value is one, and there's a minimum amount of zero. Zero is the most accurate, which means it'll always shoot in a straight line. One is, I'm pretty sure, the equivalent to 360 or 180. Somewhere, somewhere around there. So good values to start with is like 0 0.2 and both low. We can tell this one was somewhere around here. The amount of bullets that can be fired and the weapon scale, as you can see, we can make some wacky weapons. Also, yeah, you hold right click on this so you can like place the orbit around, left click, all that stuff. Set this back to one. But as you can see, you can adjust all the uh, positioning and stuff to your liking. Some weapons are able to be bone merged, which will automatically put them in the hand spot. Whatever. I think this weapon does have bone merging. Not too sure, but I position it there anyways. Because, you know, it's, it's a good idea to do that. Yeah, that's pretty much it, and when we uh, save this, it will update all the weapons and stuff. It will create this, uh, it will have its own class name, it will show up in the uh, equipment options. But now let's talk about the uh, callback stuff. We'll go to the Gauss Cannon for this. As you can see, code knowledge is required for this. Which This is pretty much for those uh, who can code and stuff. And this is what it looks like. See, you got a little simple uh, editor here. You can use a Visual Studio Code or whatever externally and just copy and paste the code in here and it will still work. But yeah, see, there's four variables you can use. Zeta. Zeta is shooting this weapon, which whoever's shooting this. The weapon entity, which is the entity being used, which would be the gun itself, like this would be the weapon entity. Target, which is the entity that's being attacked. And block data. This is pretty much a table that allows you to block certain things from running. Like you can prevent bullets from being fired, you can prevent a, the sound from being played, all that stuff. You can see, there's an example right here block data dot bullet equal true. Black data dot S and D equal true. When you return true for each individual keys here, you block them. And I'll show it in a second. I'm gonna get rid of these. But if you can remember, this Gauss cannon sh made the screen shake every time it was fired. This is why it's shaking right here, because there's a bit of code here that makes the screen shake. We can block the sound, so if we do, uh, why did I close the, uh, the docks real quick? I need to keep them open so I can see the uh, keys. Uh, let me type. Block data dot S and D, and then we'll return true for this. Well, we'll set it to true. The uh, code, the, ah, oh, crap. The code that handles the callbacks will automatically return the table, so all you have to do is just set the keys to true and stuff. Well, let's see, we can also block the muzzle flash. There we go. Next, and when we compile the weapon, just give me a second, let me just turn this off. And here we go, let's compile. You can see my game lagged a bit, and it says you may experience lag. It's doing that so it can cur uh, reload your spawn menu so all of this stuff can be updated. Which is pretty important. Or else you won't. 
you're gonna have to bear with it on that. However, if we spawn someone with it, let them fight each other, you can see there's there's no muzzle flash or shoot sound. Why you're hearing a sound is because of the uh, reverb stuff. We'll turn it off just for this demonstration, really. It's still the reverb, but you get the idea. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. Anywho. You can tell all those, all the things we mentioned were blocked. So you, if you're a coder, you have complete freedom on what your weapon does every time it fires. So you can make, there's a reason why there's a, uh, Grenade animation and grenade recoil animation, which is just basically a throw animation You can make your own custom grenades. You can make all sorts of stuff if you know how to code and stuff And the block data will be your best friend for this But Making these callbacks will be always generally simple depending on what you want to do you see this is pretty simple, I just wanted to screen shake every time this weapon was fired. And all it took was just one function here. It just depends on how complicated you can get with this. So that's, that's pretty much it for this weapon. I'm gonna compile it again so it resets all that stuff. You can see it's working again. Oh yeah, that was that was a reload sound. I forgot about that. We could preview this weapon's reload. Pretty cool. Now, let me sh let me create a weapon just to demonstrate the uh, process of it. We're gonna use the front uh, frontier justice. This is a nice looking weapon. We're gonna create a new ranged weapon. We'll, n we'll name this uh, Frontier Justice, and then we'll give it a pretty name. There we go. Um, I'm not too sure on what the uh, clip size of the weapon was, so we'll just do six animation zoos with this. We'll be shocked. You can find models too through this but I like to uh, just use the spawn menu sometimes now we gotta position this weapon to where we want because it's it that's not how you hold a shotgun so let's see we make it go a bit up like this you gotta make it go forward Need to lower it. Hmm. I think we need to do. Yep, we gotta use the crossbow animations. This looks a lot better now. That looks good. It's already pointing forward, so we don't have to change the angles at all. So let's change the fire rate. I think the fire rate can be, uh... Fire rate to one second. Shotgun recoil animation. We'll do just keep the generic muzzle flash, generic tracer. We'll make a... Make this shotgun shell eject. And let's edit this.
There we go. Attention. We are now at DEFCON 1. Security and now... Do the reload. We'll add a new sound. Frontier Justice had a unique shotgun sound. No. Huh. I thought there was a... Alright, I thought there was a unique sound for the uh, uh, Frontier Justice, but I, I can't tell if my memory's uh, iffy or not, but this is the reload. Alright, so we gotta do this. So we're gonna add a reload sound. Start like... Uh, well, there's already, like, load sounds in the animation itself, so we can just get the, uh, shotgun cock sound. Tricky part is to getting this to line up. Okay. Uh, you go a bit later, like. Make the reload two seconds. Let's preview. There we go. That was the uh, sweet spot. So now we just got the uh, gotta get the forward sound, and we're good with this. And let's preview. There we go. Beautiful. I'm not too sure how much uh, shells this probably shoot. We'll probably do six. And to balance this out, we'll have to keep the damage low. Like we we'll keep, we'll have the men to be like four, and the damage max to be like seven. That should be okay. This is a shotgun, so the spread should be generally large. 0.1 might be a good value. We don't need to do any callbacks in here. Since this is a simple shotgun, there's nothing fancy that needs to be done. But let's compile! If we go in here, we'll be able to see it. There it is. Frontier Justice. And there it is. It appears I forgot to add a shoot sound. Let's fix that real quick. Right here. Excuse me. So let's... Oh wait, I'm... There we go. Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. I passed it. Where'd it go? There it is. And compile. Security. 
Interesting. It seems the, uh... I think the, uh... Shells are not working. Hey, didn't I just tell you to, like, feed a shotgun shell eject? Pow. Oh yeah, it works. Alright. We're good. Frontier Justice, we can see in the kill feed. And all that good stuff. Nice. Come on, reload. Reload. Now! I think the cool thing with this as well is, since it's- it's- all your custom weapons are treated like, uh, the default weapons and stuff. So... There it is! Right down here, all your- This guy's are used 10,000 times? Jeez! Hey, who? Pick them, my weapons, a while before they even reach to like the top 10 or so here. Since, like, these are all. I Fist is the second most popular, but we won't question. The hour. Anyway. This is what the melee panel looks like as well when you create a new weapon. You can uh, adjust all this stuff. Remember the weapon skill as well. Wacky weapons. <laughs> it's pretty funny actually. Comically large crowbar. Gordon Freeman had a little upgrade when he was trying to find his crowbar again. <laughs> you can also just, I don't know, make it zero. Make it makes the weapon invisible. There is a lot of stuff you can do with that as well. But yeah, that's pretty much the weapon panel. You can create all weapons, you can recreate add-on weapons, and most weapons you can back. Then use the. And if you're wondering what what happens when it errors, well, console will tell you uh, which custom weapon errored and stuff. So that's that's very handy and stuff. And of course, that would mean it's <laughs> the uh, add-on side. It's more an issue on the uh, callback side, and you need to figure out why it's erroring and stuff. But yeah, as long as you know how to code, you can practically do anything. Otherwise, you can just cre create uh, stupid meat weapons or stupid overpowered weapons. Like those with the uh, orange admin gun. Create that. Using call. But yeah, there's a ton of things you can do just without the callbacks alone. It's just the callbacks make it ten times more fun and stuff. Like, endless possibilities of weapons. But yeah, that's all I have to say for this panel, and... So far, you can already tell, it's pretty much playable. But, it's not done yet. I'm gonna add a way so you can export your weapons. And be able to share it with other people. And import other people's weapons. Which means, there's gonna be a dedicated in the uh, dedicated channel in the Zeta's Discord. That will be uh, entirely dedicated.
because I might weapons with call. I don't think there's anything else I need to say. But yeah, just one final reminder: reminder, you can't directly import add-on weapons. What was that icon for that? Anyways, that's it.